November 19, 2018 Jason Merritt, get images as previously reported by the Inquisitor, singer and actress Mandy Moore married musician Taylor Goldsmith in a beautiful ceremony on November 18. Now, E. News is reporting that this happy event was a lot more somber than expected due to Moore losing her beloved cat only the night before. Moore took to Instagram to express her grief over her rescue cat, whose name was Madeline. Moore said her weekend ended up being a roller coaster of emotions and that sometimes life doesn't consider that you have big plans underway. Moore explained that the death was completely unexpected, poor Madeline had an enlarged heart, and blood clots formed that sent her into heart failure. Moore shared that she held a feline as she passed, thank you for the lessons and patience, responsibility and unconditional love, Madeline, Moore wrote in the caption to her post. She then concluded with hashtags encouraging people to rescue animals and to adopt, don't shop. While this tragic death certainly put a damper on Moore's wedding, the ceremony still proceeded to be a lovely event for guests like Minka Kelly, Wilmer Valderrama. Milo Ventimiglia, Chrissy Metz, and Sterling K. Brown. A source reported the ceremony to be very boho with rugs placed around the altar and the flower arrangements containing feathers. The reception occurred at the Fig House, which is a building that holds private events in Highland Park. The couple decided to skip a sit-down dinner but instead set up food stations serving meat, chicken, vegetarian, raw food, flat bread, cheese and charcuterie, and more. There was also a whiskey station and lots of wine provided. The couple opted to provide 12 different kinds of cake rather than one big wedding cake. Moore and Goldsmith first met in July 2015 via Instagram, and Goldsmith proposed two years later. Moore was previously married to musician Ryan Adams from 2009 to 2015 explained to the press that since she had already had a traditional wedding, she wanted to step outside of the norm and have a more low-key affair, I feel like I eloped before and I think I'll probably keep it very small again. I've never been the girl that wanted to wear a white dress, she said earlier this year. It's not going to be some lavish affair, it's maybe something that isn't going to require as much planning or at least that's what I'm telling myself. With the devastating loss of Madeline occurring mere hours before such a joyous occasion, Moore surely had a bittersweet weekend.